secret peacekeeping operative Rachel Stone must stop a hacker from stealing their most valuable and dangerous asset, a weapon codenamed Heart. She is infiltrated into an MI6 team where she travels to the Alps and must hack into a party for the rich where bets are placed on people's deaths. Someone hacked the military cameras and turned them on for the rich. Mulvaney was their target, but he was killed on a mission because there is a traitor in MI6. Stone helps her team escape from Mulvaney's guards because she has a charter employee in her earpiece, who helps her see everything from above and monitors her with the help of computer intelligence. Stone and the team arrive in London, where they have to fill out many reports on their assignment because it failed. Then they are poisoned to Lisbon, where they will settle in a special house. The guys begin to dance and enjoy life, which is not typical for agents at all. And of course, they are attacked. A bunch of men and one blonde start firing at the team. But that's how it was meant to be. Stone runs out, but after that she becomes indignant to help her team and declassifies, because now her team knows that she is an agent of the Charter. Everything would be fine, but there is a traitor in their team. Stone knew that there should be no friends and no feelings at work, and she begins to understand who the traitor is. It hurts because she was in love with this man. Then the man implants a special chip in her hand and leaves. He inserts a special virus into her that will hack the Charter and give them access to the whole world. Stone is taken to Charter, where the virus begins to consume their entire network. But Stone rips the chip out of his hand, and blood flows. Stone explains that it was she who brought the chip, and that the program needs to be turned off urgently. But they do not listen to her, but they remove the cases. She is on the bus, and a hacker connects to her and says that she is cooler. Stone laughs because the director loves her and her main role, and not that other girl. Then she sits at a friend's house and strokes the cat. Of course, how not to steal a scene from the brilliant movie Breakfast at Tiffany's, where the main character was dressed exactly like moaning. And they even took a red cat. But absolutely no fantasy. Then Stone finds out that the hackers got to the heart of the charter and the action begins. She flies, fights, and jumps on the roof at a great height and nothing happens to her, because this is Stone. Then we see how the hacker stole the heart of the charter from the ship, which was high in the sky, while Stone was fighting with her recent friend. Then the two girls fall into the desert, and Stone runs away and goes on a mission. She needs to take her heart. But before leaving the hacker, he puts a chip on her clothes to track her later. Sure enough, their charter team starts searching for the hacker and her squad to get the heart. In the film, many fights and explosions begin, and after Hackersh takes the side of the Charter and they become friends. They take the heart, and the film ends with the beautiful stone in a chic dress walking into the sunset. The film looks cheap despite the special effects and the good work of the actors. The film is for one time, because not a single scene caught on, perhaps Gal Gadot fans will appreciate the film out of respect for their favorite actress. But film critics clearly have something to play a joke on. After all, Director, Tom Harper. Stars, Gal Gadot, Jing Lucy, Jamie Dornan, Paul Reddy. When numerous characters are killed off and Stone is given a new squad, Heart of Stone ties up the entire moral dilemma. After all, we are in the era of IP, sequels, and franchising. It's also the big data age. Therefore, I suppose it's about time we had a soulless movie whose sole purpose was to start a new female-led series that simultaneously served as pro-surveillance state propaganda in some unspecified way. No friends, no love, just work. I focus my attention only there. I'm Stone. I know what the heart of the Charter. I am seeing a lot of people appreciating Gal and Aaliyah, which is fine. But Jamie too deserves to be appreciated. He's an awesome actor. What qualities do you think are important for someone to become a star? It's true that Gal Gadot may not come across as friendly to some, but it's important to recognize the talent and hard work that she has put into her craft. Being a star requires more than just being friendly. It also requires skill, dedication, and a unique presence that captivates audiences. Gal Gadot possesses these qualities and has proven herself as a successful actress in her career. Gal Gadot! Always nailing her roles! And Aaliyah, the villain! Oh my god, so excited! Also loving her cool Kaz Kid type of look. So excited to see Jamie Dornan in an action movie, after watching The Tourist. For those who aren't aware of Aaliyah's work, she's a matter-of-fact, realistic, yet powerful actor. In a villain's role, she could be the perfect foil for all this over-the-top, bombastic protagonist material. The same approach Silva had against MI6, 
Pragmatism versus idealism. Here's hoping Aaliyah holds nothing back, because it'll be rocking to see that kind of villain towering over the Wonder Woman by being the polar opposite. Jamie too has properly shined earlier in a private war, where had a similar role as the moral anchor of the story. This is genius level casting. Aaliyah is a marvelous actor, but never expected to see her as villain. I liked the movie. Although I felt it was stretched and could have done better, I liked this film as a one-time watch. It also has good, not best, action scenes. I'm not Aaliyah's fan, but my full support to her on an international level. I hope it's as good as the trailer. Her acting looks superb. Honestly, the music is what got me interested. This looks so good. The cast is fantastic. I enjoy Gal Gadot as spy in movies, like in Meet the Jonas's fantastic movie. Liked it at home as much as Mission Impossible 7 in cinema. Gal Gadot and Aaliyah Bat are as good as Tom Cruise and Pom Clementiev. The action is also great, and the story, in my opinion, was even a little bit better. Please make a sequel, Gal and Aaliyah now as a team. Fighting the bad boys and girls will be great and a sure bet for Netflix. Very beautiful Guy Gadot is bring her a game high octane action to what looks like an outstanding action movie with an outstanding possibility being her best movie so far hands down. I only see one negative and it is drastic for me. No theater release. Can't wait for part two. Might be good. While I love me some Gal Gadot, I'm more excited to see Matthias Schweighofer. He really blew me away in Army of Thieves, and I'm glad he's getting some attention these days. Look forward to seeing the film. Then Danush in Grey Man and now Aaliyah Bhatt. It's quite of a happiness that Hollywood is using at least one Indian actor in their movie, and also showing India reference. See, the thing that is going to suck about this is that Gal Gadot is the lead, which means we will be seeing the Gal Gadot on screen being amazing as ever, winning every fight and no attention paid to whatever role she is playing. Happy to see Aaliyah Bhatt getting a role, although wished it was for a better movie. Have to admit, Aaliyah is looking good in this avatar. Quite surprising. Best wishes for her. And Gal Gadot is always. This just reminded me how much I want Citadel's season two to come out. I hate that cliffhanger we were left on Heart of Stone is awesome. Stone's character is realistic and with great casting all around actors. The movie line was suspenseful and action-packed and kept me surprised at ever corner. This best movie makes Tom's predictable mission impossible look like gravy. Loved Wonder Woman in action in this movie. I don't know man, Netflix now bombarding my screen with bigger than ever explosions, but what I really want is just a feel-good action movie like Tokyo Drift. Big fan of Gal Gadot, and that's why I was curious about the trailer, but Aaliyah Bot shocked me. Didn't know she was in it. I think the plane drop is footage from an actual crash. This movie looks really, really good.